And today I am starting but it's my neighbors are probably like doing fireworks or something and even though it's literally noon <laughs> hey everyone it's Jayla and I'm starting a weekend reading vlog today I realized that I read like nothing in June at like I read one book in June and technically not even in June so and I have lots of time to just hang around the house and do absolutely nothing but read. I say this knowing that most of the time I could be reading, I end up just scrolling through social media on my phone or watching YouTube videos or something. So I'm trying to make an effort today to really just not be on my phone as much, even though, hi, I'm vlogging this, oops. But um, I just want to kind of get away from my phone, focus more on reading, actually saying that, and then also realizing that I plan to read mostly ebooks. but I will be reading on my phone instead of reading tweets on my phone. Other than reading, my plans for this weekend are also to rearrange my bookshelves and reorganize them because I took a lot of stuff off of it. Um, partly because I'm unhauling some books, partly because I was f doing a bookstagram. Go follow me on Instagram at Lala Loves Lit for my bookstagram. But yeah, so I was taking a bookstagram picture and it was mostly blue books in the background and I was trying to make it so that all the books in this like one area here would all be blue. And so I did a lot of taking down books to like rearrange my bookshelf for just that one specific photo. And then I was like, I might as well just rearrange my bookshelves since I've destroyed them in attempts to do that. Because as you can see, things are very much not looking too good right now over there. So yeah, I plan to kind of do some damage control with that, change everything up because they have been the same way for quite some time now. And I will be filming a whole video for that. So that's going to be separate from the vlog. But other than those details, I think that's all I kind of have planned. It was my birthday on Thursday, so July 2nd, and so I had made plans kind of for the weekend to do some movie watching parties on Zoom and on like Netflix party and stuff like that. So I do have those planned for tonight. I watched Hamilton yesterday on July 3rd. Um, when it came out on Disney Plus and it was really really good. I personally think that I there could be some better blogging in the show but other than that it was so it was like better than I imagined but yeah it was such a good show and for those who don't know which is probably all of you because I don't think I've talked about Hamilton on this channel yet I really do love Hamilton um, I found it in 2016 so I was a little late to the party but ever since then I've been wanting to see the show I love the soundtrack I know all the songs and all the words I actually had tickets to go see Hamilton um, in April, like April 20th, that weekend was when we were supposed to go see it in Atlanta with my friend, but um, unfortunately they had to postpone the show and shut down theater productions because of everything going on right now in the world, and so now they have postponed the show until the fall, and I'm just hoping that I'll be able to go or that someone will buy the tickets that I've listed. Go buy the tickets that I've listed, by the way. Um, I can find the information to put up here or something, but <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to be doing in September because I'm a college graduate looking for a job and trying to, like, just get her life together. Um, and maybe go to grad school. So I literally don't know if I'll be able to go in September. I have no idea what my plans are for that time of the year. So it's very likely that I might need someone else to buy them. So I'm gonna put that up here just so you guys can like help assist it out if you need to. Since I couldn't go see it in April, I'm really happy that, like literally it feels like it was a birthday present. I'm happy that um, lin Mama Miranda decided that he would put it up on Disney Plus or whatever the plan was because I'm sure that that was not the initial plan for the year. I believe it was supposed to come out in 2021. And In the Heights was supposed to come out in June or July. And that's a bummer that that got pushed back. But hopefully that means we can give it all the money and support that it needs because we can actually go see it in a theater. Because God, I miss movie theaters and I can't wait to see it next year. But this is really a tangent and it has nothing to do with me reading. So I need to get off this phone. I need to go start kind of organizing this. I need to read lots of books. And just get a lot done before I go to my movie parties. So I will check in with you later.
Alright, hello everyone. It is the next day and I'm just checking in to let you know that I suck and I haven't read mostly anything since I started this vlog. Most of my day yesterday was taken up by reorganizing my bookshelves and by the time I finished doing that it was already super late and then I just wanted to start editing it because I just, once I film something I just feel the compulsion to edit which I knew would happen so I really shouldn't have tried to do both. I did get a little bit of reading done last night after I edited till like 3 a.m. I decided to read because I wanted to get some reading done and I realized that I didn't even tell you what I've been reading. I am reading currently Watch Over Me by Nina LaCour and this book is a galley that was sent to me by Penguin Random House. I entered one of the little sweepstakes that they were doing as part of BookCon and I ended up winning a couple of their galleys which was really cool. So yeah, I got this new Nina LaCour book. I've got David Yoon's new book. Um, super fake love song and I can't remember what the third one is but I've got one more coming I have to sign some paperwork for it but anyway so yeah I have those and I'm trying to read all of those this this month because I'm just really grateful for all these like things that are coming my way and I really want to read them before they're relevant <laughs> I'm currently about 25% of the way through watch over me I'm really enjoying it I love Nina LaCour's writing she's like the queen of writing sad girls I've only ever read we are okay by her but I really love that story as well and I do want to read more of LaCour books. I'm reading it on the Kindle app on my phone and according to that app I have about 2 hours and 20 minutes left of the book so I can definitely finish that today if I just sit down and apply myself. Hopefully I will and I won't get caught up in editing again. That's my plan for most of the day. I didn't end up having that movie watching party last night because we just I got really caught up in my bookshelf organization and then my other friends forgot that it was the holiday and so some of them couldn't do it anymore. So we pushed it to today so I do have that at 8 o'clock but other than that I have no excuses I need to get a lot of reading done so I'm gonna stop talking to you I'm gonna leave don't talk to me for the rest of the day goodbye I'm gonna go read Okay, so I don't watch Riverdale, but I know that there is something in that show, like some sort of plot line where they're on a farm or like there's this farm, there's a cult or something. And so every time people bring up the farm in this story, I keep thinking they're talking about the farm, you know? And I just kind of hope that this turns into almost like a cult community kind of thing. It probably won't <laughs> because it's already going in a different direction than I expected, but like I really want there to just be like a cult aspect that comes in because they're asking like how strong she is and stuff like that, like mentally, and I want to know what they're gonna do. Hello again. It has been a little bit of time since the bookstagram shoot I showed you and I'm still wearing the lipstick and stuff because I'm too lazy to take it off. So it'll only come off when probably when I drink something and it's gone or when I accidentally get it on my pillow, but that's fine. I decided that I wanted to show you guys that I got a little package. I know that there's a book in here so I thought it would be fun to kind of unbox it for you. Just to give a little bit of backstory, I already know what's in here but I've never actually like seen the book so I don't know what it looks like. But basically, as we all know, and I've explained a couple times on this channel now, your girl is trying to get a job, your girl is doing a lot of work to network and just, you know, getting good with the people who will help her get a job in the publishing industry which is my goal. Basically, uh, long story short, I won a fellowship. I won. I was granted. I applied to and got a fellowship 
and they hosted an event a few weeks ago in which we got to talk to Kelly Hoey, who is someone who is working in kind of helping other people learn how to network and helping them understand what networking really is. So we got to talk to her and ask her some questions and she was nice enough to send us all a copy of her book that she just wrote. And so let's open it together. And I think it's cute that there's a sticker on the back that says build your network before you need it. So yeah, that's some good advice. Thank you very much. All right, we salvaged the sticker. Let's pull out the book. Okay, so here it is. It's Build Your Dream Network, Forging Powerful Relationships in a Hyper-Connected World by J. Kelly Hoey. Um, I think this will do, oh, she signed it. It says Jayla, stay connected, and then it's signed by her. I didn't know she was going to sign them, which I guess I should have assumed. That's so nice of her. Um, and then it comes with this little card. It says, re-engage with your career. This is really cool. Um, <laughs> I just really wasn't expecting it to be signed or, like, personalized. So, yeah, I think this is a really cool cover. I can see, like, it's basically a bunch of mouse click icon thingies. Arrows. They're called arrows. Anyways, and I really could use this as I, like I said, in trying to get a job, and I definitely think one of the most important things that I need to learn is confidence um, when I'm engaging with other people, especially people who have significantly more power than I do. Um, so I hope that I can learn a lot from this book, and I really appreciate Jay Kelly Hoey sending this to me. Thank you so much. I really will try to read this and apply all of that you say into my life. And again, if you ever see this, thank you for talking to me. Okay, so now that that's done, I think it's time to go back to reading. I'm about 50% of the way through Watch Over Me and still really enjoying it. I think that it is pretty slow in some ways. Like, it's not very plot heavy so far. Um, so that's one thing. But I really do, like, I don't mind a slow book as long as the story is written very well. And so far, like, the story is very engaging. I really enjoy getting to know the characters and the setting because this farm is just so like there's so many things about it that like make me question is this a really a safe space but it is a safe space it's just I think from the narrator's perspective she's just has she has a hard time trusting people and so she has a hard time trusting the environment so it's really interesting to hear from her perspective I'm definitely enjoying what I've read so far but I do hope that it picks up just a little bit so that I can get through it and want to finish it by tonight I have about an hour until my movie with my friends and so I'm gonna spend that whole hour reading I promise and then I will update you guys soon with another update. <laughs> Okay, something weird happened. Something weird is happening, and I think I know what's going on here, but I can't tell you. <laughs> I'm 70% through the book, and people are doing weird things, and I, I knew that something was up. Okay, it is just before midnight, and I just finished Watch Over Me. This book was kind of weird. I just, I don't know. I think I'm going to give it three stars. And I'll definitely go into more detail in like a wrap up at the end of the month, but for me it was just like, it was combining this sort of magical realism and it just, I don't know, I don't know how, how I really want to talk about it just yet because I just finished it, but I don't know, I felt like the ending was a little rushed, so that's one of the things that I didn't love. And the whole thing is supposed to be kind of about Mila, the main character, um, finding some sort of acceptance in herself because she's been through a lot. And it just felt like that part of it was really sped through at the end. Whereas most of the book is spent going back into the past and seeing what she's dealing with. It's not really teaching her. I feel like it's not really um, helping her move past what happened, if that makes sense. So then I feel like all this stuff happens towards the end. That's supposed to kind of help drive her plot and drive her character development, but I just don't really see it. I hope that I can articulate this better in a wrap-up. Um, it's pretty late and I do have to work in the morning, so I am going to go to sleep soon. 
But yeah, I think I will just kind of start editing this video together. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Since this is a galley, I will try and leave a review on Goodreads, so feel free to go add me as a friend on Goodreads. It's just my name, Jayla Luter, and I will see you in another video. Good night!